bum. Hey man, do, 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 do. Yeah, welcome back to the Masters of the Universe Battleground here in my dojo. And here I show you the next miniature, Remman. He is uh, one of my favorite from the past well, when I was a child. And yeah, uh, Remman looks really, really like the Juggernaut from Marvel. He is the juggernaut from Master and uh, Masters, uh, yeah. And I show you in this video how to paint this uh, armor, non-metallic style, super easy, super mm, little bit complicated, but awesome result. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Here is the skeleton. Let's go. Take the dark gray, and in the first time I use the dark gray pure and I sketch every light points uh, that I check under the lamp like the other models uh, if you see the video from the Nightwing or something then or the merman and then you see what I'm doing here I try to uh, film this so close I can um, the problem is I don't mirror this on the screen when I paint. I paint really under the cam and this is the reason why maybe it's not so 100% uh, smooth and super pure yeah but it's okay. Um, I mix in the second time I mix for my sketch a little bit white in the uh, dark gray um, to bring the light points stronger out yeah so this is really um only sketching time it's super boring but you create here the light points and the dark points the dark shadow parts yeah and um, don't forget after every step what you do you have to paint all edges uh really all edges because the non-metallic lives from the edges too, yeah? And you have to paint this, you can, do you see what I'm doing here? You can uh, draw or stipple or whatever you want, yeah? You can do this, but important is hold the color wet and not a dry brush or something like this, yeah? And go all over the edges. So it's, and now uh, I glaze the color together with um, the mid-tone with, with the previous color yeah, before we mix it to the brightest part. Uh, I bring this color a little bit together and this helps to remove a lot of uh, strokes and, and uh, yeah, from your drawing. Don't forget, also here, after this, paint the edges again. If you want uh, to have a super shiny edges, uh, you have to do this, really. If you do this not, 
then um, yeah, it's it's going more uh, not so bright. So here you see pretty close. I was wondering by myself that I I find the points and I paint it. You see what I'm doing here? I go only in some parts of the edges and uh, improve the the highlight part, the the bright part. Then you see um, the glaze again. You have this repeat. You have to do this. I think. It's up to you. You have to do, uh, repeat this, repeat this, repeat this. If you more, uh, you do this. If you st uh, stronger, they will come out. And as I said, the edges again. Yeah, you can use um, the side of the brush, or if you want, you can for structure um, stipple, stipple a little bit. Yeah, but you don't paint the whole parts. Yeah, just only the small shiny uh, space. Yeah, you see what I'm doing here. And uh, a reminder, I, I paint this model so fast I can because uh, I, it's very hot in Germany, it's pretty hot in, in, in the rooms, we have no air condition, only fans. But um, I paint this so fast I can because I want to play this game, yeah? <laughs> and I know everybody waits of He-Man and Battle Cat and Skeletor and so on. We, 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 paint, we paint this, we paint this. Don't worry. I show you how to make a bronze skin and uh, uh, the Skeletor face or Skeletor skin, trap jaw skin. I show you this, don't worry. So here you see I fa uh, fast forward the, the video a little bit because this non-metallic video can go over 10 hours if you want. yeah. And you see I go with the white super diluted after I do all the, the sketches and the edges and so on. I go uh, very diluted over all parts to give a little bit of smooth transition, smooth result. Uh, yeah. And you can a little bit scratches so on, yeah, because it's armor. It's later will look uh, very smooth. In the moment, looks very wild and very uh, yeah, strong. But you will see this is um, the result is uh, perfect for gaming and for high plus gaming. I call this high class gaming. You came uh, on the table with your minis and they say, what the fuck? And they have a respect for your minis, yeah. Here you see, I just follow only the light, here not, you see it? And here I follow the light, That's, that I, uh, I do this that you can see the difference. Now it's time for some tones. And I use the turkeys first. You can use every turkeys, not only from Erka Interactive. Uh, you can from Scale or from Vallejo or from Citadel. It's <laughs> all the same. Um, yeah, I use a diluted water, distilled water because if no uh, algae, 
and um, dust inside yeah and these wet pallets from red grace games are dust uh, <laughs> dust suckers <laughs> dust collectors yeah and um, yeah you see I do this very slowly this is the uh, consistency of the tone color super like in wash yeah the the brush takes up the color and you see you can use this as a wash and as a glaze in the same time yeah so here you see the miniature the ramen and now I go over these parts and hey many people say oh don't hit the the, the, the white parts and don't hit <laughs> you can use you can you can hit it it's, it's it's not so bad it's it gives everything a tone after that you go with white again over these parts and, and show you also a trick with the airbrush and nobody will uh, check it yeah and you see on the helm the helm is transformed in a, in a uh, metallic bluish white and graphite and so on yeah you, really this, this under a cam to show is pretty hard uh, I have no no 8k super hardcore uh, 10,000 euro cam like my friends or something I have I don't have it because I think there is no reason for that yeah in my situation I can buy it of course but for what and it looks great in my eyes it looks great I don't know what you're thinking hey tell me what you're thinking about my painting yeah in the comments below and help me to grow this channel yeah um, so time for the shadows uh, this is the part I like it very much I use <laughs> This is a like a book of seven seals. Yeah, really. The 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 mixing of black and dark Prussia blue is a, a, like, like a book of of seven seals. I cannot nobody cannot really tell you the perfect mix. Yeah, you have to find out by yourself. And um, yeah, I go in the part between the turkeys, the gray, the white and of course the deepest parts but uh, the deepest parts will go stronger later because you use more black in the bluish and you really really have to outline every every deepest uh, part and shadow parts really you have to do this because they they, they need to uh, to separate the parts of the armor here by the helm you can see it very good and uh, on the shoulders sadly my uh, version of Redman has a little bit of issue on the on the uh, armor it's a gap I cannot close this gap I see it too late and I think I'm ah, damn Okay, I do it so good I can because the color was on it. I see it too late. Sorry for that. So, after this, you have... <laughs> guess what you have to do? Go again with the white. Come, come back with the white. You can use also an off-white or a Mojave white or whatever, yeah? But... The important is that you set up the points that you want that the, the eye will see there is a is a armor because your eyes have to see the miniature from from one meter or uh, yeah two meters I don't know so so like this yeah and the, the miniature may have to see like the the other videos uh, the other miniatures from the special hyper pro painters yeah um like the Giraldes or something, you will see if you see his minis in real, his minis are very flat and very dark because under the bright lamp looks perfect, but on the table from the far, 
Ah, not so good. And uh, um, here you see the lights are coming out. And for me, one of the best white, not whites, because I mean the, 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 the white, uh, is the opponent theory. Opponent theory is a painter. He is so good. But, uh, the miniature looks from the far pretty, pretty good and pretty detailed and very colorful. Yeah. So now I show you a trick, the dead white trick, airbrush. Um, you can use this with a brush, but this is really an airbrush trick. This dead white airbrush is so diluted and transparent. This is, yeah, it's for a brush hard to use, but you can do it. You can do it. I do it also. I use the thinner extra because I want really a, a consistency of the water cup. Yeah. I take the white. You see what I'm doing here. And then you will think, hey, what's he doing here? But they make sense, believe me. I remove the cap for a better precise hitting and I will do a short burst. At first I take on the tissue with the pressure and here you see I put them in because they regulate the pressure. This is pretty good. And you see here on my finger, just wait a sec. Here, how diluted is this white? Hard to see, but I think you can see it. This will improve your white parts from the armor extremely, really. Go gently with short bursts over the parts. <laughs> and when I see it here, I, I, I can swear it's do nothing, but it it is really. If you look really, really closely. Now that you see, yeah, it come out, and this will improve your your white parts extremely and by the way all non-metallic gold silver or something like that uh, miniatures looks from the pretty pretty near very very awful because uh, the only on busts or something like that because you can uh, super a lot of, of glaze over the, the uh, parts but on small miniatures it's, it's a fake if you see in, in photos or something they use the dark background and then use a little bit of unsharp filter and Photoshop and so on, and then you have the perfect super look. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> it's so funny. One guy on Instagram shows uh, a very high class painter. Uh, I don't know what was the name. He shows oh, when I cannot paint it, I do it with Photoshop or with. Uh, he show how he do this. It's just cool, <laughs> but uh, it's not art. Or maybe it's art, yeah. Oh, why not?
also if you want to make the parts bigger like here for example you can use the mid-tone or the previous color and go also over these parts you see you can bring these uh, spots uh, smoother and bigger out if you say ah this light point is too small too too thin or something like that then go here like what I'm doing you see I create bigger parts and this brings a smoothness yeah here you see they transformed more and more and more and um, what I don't show it under the cam is I do every time after every step the white edge session super boring super nerving but you have to do this and the black lining and the shadowing of all of all shadow parts yeah you have to do this every time so you see the first result is pretty awesome <laughs> what can i say and um i hope this will help you and try to 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 copy that try to do this uh and show me yeah that's it i hope this video will helps you um here you see pictures of different light types of uh the gaming from at home uh normal light at home dimming light and yeah i have to say thank you for your support help me to grow up this channel let the comments in the comments list and thank you uh, to rube one my group rube one the, my man Ruby from UK, Carlos from Fire Studios from Spain, and Vakizni also from Spain, uh, Israel, big hug bro, and of course Miniatis, my friend Sandro from Berlin, and of course the Thomas Chestram from Fellowships, our brewer, he brews the best beer in the whole world. <laughs> Stay tuned for my next video uh, here on YouTube. Um, of the masters of the universe i paint the evil one okay then i have to say stay tuned bye and i'm out